Going on a road trip. <laughs> I haven't even intro this video. I was gonna film me packing, but it was stressful. Okay, as you can see, we're bringing our kitties with us. We are going to Mammoth. I have been to Mammoth two times in my life, at once in the winter and once in the summer. Tyler has never been to Mammoth, and he's never snowboarded. I don't even know what this vlog is going to contain. Oh my god! Oh. I'm just gonna vlog our whole entire experience. <laughs> I woke up sick, so that's fun. <laughs> wow, snow is really bright. Yesterday, I started not to like feel very good, and my anxiety was really bad, and I kind of just thought it was all my anxiety, and I'm really, really nauseous, but then we got here, and I'm even more nauseous, so I definitely think it's altitude sickness mis mixed with my anxiety, but this is like hard to talk to the camera right now, and I somehow have to eat breakfast, so. And I woke up sick, my throat hurts. I'm like so out of breath, and I can't breathe, and I hate it. And we're supposed to be here for five days. So, hopefully I get better. There's literally a snow plow right outside, so you guys are gonna hear that for a second. I'm doing my skincare and doing a lot of hydrating products because my skin is literally peeling off because it's so dry. But I just wanna explain to you guys like what's happened so far. I didn't feel good for the whole entire ride and my throat was like super dry and scratchy and my anxiety was really bad. Ever since I went off my antidepressants, instantly when I wake up, it's like that rush of anxiety and panic just like in my chest and my stomach. And that's like my least favorite thing about, you know, having anxiety and panic disorder. Am I sick or is it anxiety? Like I never actually know if I'm sick or not because my anxiety has so much like physical effects. Anyways, we got here. The kitties are doing really great. I didn't expect them to do this great, but they kind of just think the stairs are their personal jungle gym. I think I have altitude sickness because I'm really nauseous, but also it's like even worse because I'm anxious. I haven't eaten that much and all the stuff I've eaten is bad because we were on like a road trip and we were eating like snack. My stomach doesn't know what to do. We got breakfast, I got all the food in me, I took Pepto and now I'm fine. The main thing now is I'm just super dizzy and that can happen from my anxiety and from the altitude sickness. We're gonna go to Vons and get Dramamine. They have like these little oxygen things. This is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. I just filming you? We just walking? Yeah. Guys, we're in the snow. It's so cold. Why is it cold? Because Tyler decided to throw a snowball at me <laughs> and it went in my shirt. And now my shirt is wet. Oh my god, ow. What? I just spit. <laughs> I opened it and all the freaking crumbs went in my eye. Tricks dust. 
Yesterday, we were supposed to go on a scenic gondola ride, and then we got there, and it was past 3.30, and they closed it, so we're gonna go on it today, and then we have to go rent snowboard gear, and then we're going snowboarding today, and I don't know how that's gonna go. My head hurts so bad. Me and Tyler both slept, like, really, really bad last night. Not fun. I wish this vlog was gonna be more positive. <laughs> Body wash is the clear, and you can use my shampoo that's there. It says shampoo on it, baby. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Are you okay, Mama? Are you okay? I got that on camera. Oh my god, Tyler. I might have gotten him falling, baby. He's okay. I don't even know why he jumped. I don't know if he fell. I don't know if he jumped. We watched him walking. He's okay. Sir, you got eight lives left. I can't believe that just happened. No, we really thought they weren't gonna be stupid enough to jump off. This is a loft up there. I got this oxygen boost because altitude sickness is like really affecting me and I've never been this dizzy, nauseous, head pounding, feeling like so much pressure. So I've taken like five, it's not called hits. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. Five hits off of this thing. Hopefully it makes me feel better. Tika Plus has literally been saving my skin. I don't know if you guys can see like how red my lips are, but my skin and my lips are so dry. I actually filmed my hair care routine today. Put on TikTok. I'm gonna put in the clip really quick of how freaking dry my ends are. So I like did an oil mask to try and help that. I have never needed aqua for more in my life. I'm gonna go blow dry my hair really quick. We are going on the scenic gondola ride. Oh, oh. Does it? Wow, okay, this is scarier than I thought. We finally get on our gondola ride. It was seriously one of the most beautiful and unreal experiences I've ever experienced. The view was so insane. We got like halfway there and the guy was like, okay, you're halfway there. And I was like, there's more. So at the very top, there was this little area that you could stop at and get food. They had a Starbucks and the view was just absolutely breathtaking. And this was the view at the very top. But then this is when everything really started to go wrong. I was doing really, really bad this day and the shortness of breath was killing me. If I were to take like 10 steps, I was winded. I literally forced myself to go on this gondola ride, but I wasn't doing good. We went from like 7,000 feet all the way up to like 11 to 12,000 feet and my altitude sickness was already really bad. We go back to the hotel because I want to make sure I'm eating enough, so I snack on a bunch of things. I drink a bunch of water. I had snowboard lift tickets for this day and the next day, which is our last full day. So after we went back to the hotel, we were gonna go get our snowboard gear. After I'm done eating, I'm sitting there and I'm kind of coming to terms with, oh, I've like low-key had really bad chest pain for like the last couple hours and I'm now just like tuning into it. If you've ever ran in the cold and you get like that sharp pain in your chest, it was like that times a million. And it was nonstop and it was getting worse by the second. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna take a bath. I get in the bath and it's just getting worse. It's not getting any better. And I am now having sharp pains going down my arms, mainly down my left arm down my back feels like it's like in my lungs I have never been in this much pain in my entire life and then I'm like okay I'm looking stuff up about altitude sickness because I haven't looked anything up at this point because sometimes you can just like freak yourself out especially if you have anxiety because everything's just like mm, you have cancer and you're gonna die so I end up reading something along the lines of altitude sickness can be very mild to life-threatening so that kind of freaked me out and then I read something that said if you have chest pains to go to the doctor immediately Oh, okay. I have a horrible fear of the doctors. I've talked about this on my channel before. Tyler's like, okay, we're gonna get you out. And we're gonna take you to the emergency room. And I instantly like full blown panic. I'm like, no, 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 no. Like I can't like, I'm laying in bed crying, trying to calm down. And I'm like, okay, this is actually really serious. My chest hurts. So I get dressed and I am going to the emergency room. At this point, I'm starting to get nervous that I'm literally having a heart attack because it hurts so bad and it's not going away. I get to the hospital, all the nurses 
and the doctor were seriously the nicest person ever. One of the best experiences I've ever had at a hospital. I couldn't be more thankful. They hooked me up to like an EKG. Long story short, all of my vitals and everything came back literally perfect. So then I'm sitting there and I'm feeling crazy. Then the doctor asked if I wanted to take something for my anxiety and I was like a little hesitant. Then the doctor walked out and then I start having a panic attack. I'm like, I'm gonna leave here. I'm still gonna feel bad. What is going on with me? Like this trip has been like so bad so far and everything's just going through my mind. Then the freaking thing that is hooked up to like my finger for my pulse and my oxygen is beeping. And then it goes from green to yellow to red and it's beeping really loud. And then the doctor runs in there and she's like, you're fine, you're fine. Your oxygen isn't that low, you're fine. And then I tell her right away, I'm like, I did just have a panic attack and she was like, Okay. She asked me again, she was like, do you want anything for your anxiety? And I asked what it was. It was something that was like a way lower version of Xanax. She ended up giving that to me. They gave me Tylenol. They told me it would kick in in 30 minutes and then I was sitting there on my phone and I look up and it was 30 minutes and I felt great. No one has pain at all. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know what that pillow is, but that pill is magical. I got like zero anxiety, but I'm so tired. But I haven't slept in like three days. I have never felt this great in my entire life. I was so tired though. I hadn't slept in like two or three days. I've been dealing with really bad insomnia as well. On this trip, I like really, really couldn't sleep. And the doctor did inform me that that is also from altitude sickness. Still don't fully know like why this happened. All my vitals were fine. And to think that this was just anxiety weirds me out. I don't like it, but yeah, that was the whole entire situation. We leave the hospital. We go to the gas station to get some snacks. Tyler comes out and he's like freaking out. And I'm like, what? And he was like, there's a freaking bear right there. And then the worker is just walking past him like no big deal like this happens every single day and he's just pissed off because he has to go and clean up the mess so that was fun we go to bed i wake up i feel immaculate and then we instantly go downstairs and get our snowboard gear i look like just a floating head Yesterday took a turn, obviously, but I'm doing better now. We just rented our snowboards. Get ready to see us falling like a million times. I have been snowboarding once and like I didn't even go on the lift. Me and my old friend literally just like went in the backyard of the Airbnb that we were staying at and I fell really hard and got like a huge ass bruise on my hip. I don't even consider that snowboarding. Imagine Vader on a snowboard. Switching to GoPro footage. It is leaving day. There's a few other things on the agenda. We, our checkout is like 11 and it's like probably like, what time is it, like nine o'clock? Oh God. I have to buy a mammoth hoodie. We have to get breakfast. Bella's been having a rough time on this trip. There's like so much static and whenever we pet her, it shocks her and then she freaks out and runs away. So now she just won't let us touch her and I feel so bad. We're getting breakfast. I'm so sore, I have a giant bruise on my ass. Everything hurts and I have to drive for six hours now. I'm gonna cry. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. That's good. Thank you. Thank you so much. Why does this look so curved? Is yours like that too? No. 